everyone, I love hope. One of the most impactful feelings you'll ever experience is hope. You know, hope is a, a gift and it occurs when we center our expectations on something. Hope's like a wish, like for something to happen, and, and there's power in those wishes. I've been a teacher and preacher of hope for years, and I've believed in it with all of my heart. At times I felt like I've had none. Over the past few years of my life, I've learned a few things about hope, and I've got eight points that I'd like to share with you to help empower you with your gift, to strengthen you with this power in your life called hope. Number one, hope plants a seed. Whenever you really want something, kind of like a kid at the candy store, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? You see it, you want it, and you hope mom and dad say, yeah, that kind of hope, like I hope I get it. Everything in you says yes. Having hope is an implication that it could actually occur. Hope can really turn into, germinate into a whole new existence. Your life's journey can be enhanced simply by having hope. Number two, in order to feel hopeful, honesty is required. We've all experienced times when we're, we're fooling ourselves about something, like a relationship or maybe, maybe a promotion at work. But to have hope, we're forced to be honest about what we've done to create the challenge. Only if you tell yourself the truth about a tough situation can you really go ahead and experience hope. Now, hope produces a can-do spirit. For example, if, if you want your relationship to be better, God, I want to as well, you can draw upon the hope within you. That desire to want a, a deep and more connected partnership is, is rooted in a hope that you can put in the relationship and you can put it back on track. The next step is then to ask yourself, what can I do to make the relationship grow? Now, hope cultivates a personal sense of responsibility and ownership. Only then do you have the power to convince yourself that you can truly affect a change in your own life and ultimately in the other person. All right, number four, hope often leads you to the answer. When you're clueless about how to resolve a difficult issue, you resort to hoping the issue will be solved somehow. Your, your thoughts become uh, like you go to the theater of your mind, you rehearse things and you try to figure things out, you try to figure out the challenge and sometimes before you know it, you've hit something, you've gone on something that, that might actually help the situation. Number five, hope cultivates your imagination. Creativity and imagination are really necessary when you're hoping for something, when you're hoping for something to grow or change in a positive way. You stretch yourself by considering resolutions you haven't even considered before. Number six, hope. Hope enhances your personal commitment to the issues at hand. For example, my battle with cancer. When you've thought enough about something that's super tough and vexing, something that's just tearing you up and inside a challenge, you're likely committed to overcoming that challenge. Personal commitment sets you up to sharpen your focus and find a way to create the end result you desire. Folks, I'd be dead without it, I promise you. Number seven, hope springs from inside of you. The purest form of strength and power in your life just emerges solely from right within you. It's the gift and the power you have been given that can completely transform any situation. Hope's free and it's available to you at any time you want to tap into it. It's yours, hope. Number eight, allows you to accept and forgive others, that's tough, but many times the path you seek can only be paved by your complete acceptance of other people and your ability to forgive them. We'll all be exposed to those people that annoy us or bewilder us and even might be right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll be hurt by their actions and by actions of other people and words of some others at, at some point. But having hope, it encourages us to move past those positions of powerlessness and discover the true strength of character. Get its prisons not for you, right? Possessing hope enables and empowers you to perform challenging acts and believe the unbelievable. The good life you deserve can be attained striving to have hope. So let go of your self-doubt, let go of negativity. Discover your power by embracing all the riches that hope can deliver. If you'd like to dig into some of that more, I'm launching a new coaching program called The Flip. We'll be digging into things like this that will absolutely transform your life and your career. So feel free to DM me or click on the link in this post 
and I've got a free ebook waiting just for you. I wrote it for you, helping you to learn how to land your dreams at a 50,000 foot cloud, right? To reality, right here on the ground. So I really look forward to hearing from you. Hope is yours. It's tough, I know. But you have the power and the strength in you.